I'm hundreds of miles up the Amazon on the hunt for the electric eel with the Matisse tribe. It's chaos as the hunters try to bring the fish into shallow water. Right, I'm now in the water. I struggle to get close. The eel writhes to get free. Finally, Bushy, the man who brought me here. I can see it, you can see it trembling, you can see it trembling. Holds a live electric eel in his bare hands. He's just holding that, he's holding it. Now I'm going face to face, fang to vein, with a real living vampire. And that's a strange feeling, that's a very strange feeling. It's, there's suction, but there's something sharp going on as well. The thing is, if you get these things attached, you're actually going to want to get them off. If you're swimming, you're needing your limbs to keep you afloat, to keep you moving. So what are you going to do? You've got these creatures attaching to you. Do I carry on swimming with maybe more and more attaching, or do I stop swimming and try and get these things off? Ah, easier said than done. Ah! Ah! I don't know if there's a mark there or not. Hopefully there's not a big red hole. And there's a fish on, there's a fish on. Oh, there it is, there it is, jumping out of the water. That's quite strong, that's a strong fish. I've hooked a predatory fish with dental hardware straight out of a horror movie. So this is a payara, it's a relative of the piranha. It's an arms war down there, everything's got teeth, everything is eating everything else. And they've actually got those fangs there on the lower jaw, and they use those to puncture the swim bladder of the prey. On the Fitzroy River in Australia, I'm hooked into a beast that means business. Good size, good size. Oh, it's a sawfish, it's a sawfish. At last, the animal that's been swimming around on my head for nearly 20 years. Here we go, my first sawfish. Something monstrous has seized my bait. That's the fish. At the bottom of a freezing 2,000 foot deep Norwegian fjord. There it is. The Greenland shark. It's just too big to bring on board. We'd only injure it trying. We'll have to tie it alongside. It's a monstrous thing to find this far inland and to bring up from such a depth as well. But we're just trying to get the tail rope on it now by the standards of what normally lives inland. This is this is huge, this is monstrous. Willem's reckoning possibly 400 pounds. Despite their enormous size, they're a mystery to science. We know virtually nothing about how they live, breed or hunt. I've no choice but to get into the freezing water with the world's largest predatory shark after the Great White. It's believed they'll eat almost anything they come across down in the abyssal depths. No one yet knows what potential threat they pose to humans. 